Ladies and gentlemen, currently there are about 260 hatches of purple plants in Jinan province, including Bolesus Proticosa, Hwangap tea plant, medicine flower of the King Palace, to serve the processing of traditional medicine and functional foods. According to the Orientation of the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, by 2025 and with a vision to 2030, it will build and develop models of growing medicinal plants that are dominant in the province, guidance for multiplication of medicinal plants, develop the system of purchasing, processing, consumption, linking processed products from purple plants into the medicinal products under the program of one commune, one product. Jinan is a province with average soil conditions, temperature and humidity suitable for growing medicinal plants, especially plants to extract essential oil. The total area of medicinal plants in the province has gradually increased over the years, specifically about 203 hectares in 2017, about 221 hectares in 2018, and 224 hectares in 2019, in which they include main types of medicinal herbs such as prong of tea plant, polycious brutacosa, cinchonella, etc., with an average output of over 2,000 tons of various medicinal herbs per year. The estimated production area of medicinal plants in 2020 in the province will be 260 hectares. The output of about 2,900 tons of various medicinal herbs. The province's dominant medicinal plant is Hoang plant with an output of 128 tons per year. In recent years, the area of production of medicinal plants in the province tends to increase due to the relatively stable economic value for the farmers. Mr. Lemon Hai, living in Quarter for Yumin Town, is one of the people in the province who finally brought 4,000 delicious rotacosa plants to intercropping in the proper garden since 2017. With the model of intercropping delicious rotacosa plants in proper garden, each year Mr. Hai also has a significant profit. We can harvest in the first year, but initially the plants are young, so the output is not much. In the second year, the plants are quickly developed, therefore the output is high. It can earn about 20 million Vietnam dong per year. Currently, the medicinal plants are considered as plants with the strength to develop into tourism products and as a raw material area for making traditional medicines and functional foods, exploiting indigenous resources, investing in the development of raw material areas and pharmaceutical processing is one of the social economic development orientations of the province based on the efficient use of the advantages of natural and social conditions. In addition, it mobilizes enterprises to develop products from medicinal plants according to the OCLP program's criteria. In the province, there are enterprises investing in the production and processing of medicinal plants, such as Tam Lang Thi One Member Limited Liability Company, Bing Nga Hoang of Thi Private Enterprises, Ting Dung Agricultural Joy Stock Company, and a number of other small essential oil production and processing establishments. Particularly for Tam Lang Thi One Member Limited Liability Company, right from the beginning of operation, the company has actually built safe material areas in which the medicinal plants used to produce tea are used by the company, which use organic fertilizers from vermicompost to manure the plants, completely remove the fertilizers and plant protection with the chemical origin during taking care medicinal garden. The company's raw material area is now around 50 hectares, in which plants are raw, including huang of plant, chrysanthemum, honey circle, basket plant, Orchalicia fragrance, Chimera sylvestre, and Polycious fruticosa. On Tumblant tea materials are raw, cared for, and produced by the company by themselves, so they always guarantee 100% clean quality. From raw materials after being harvested according to a closed process, 
It is treated infinitely with advanced technology to write and put into story, ensuring absolute hygiene. The entire production line of the factory is equipped with ultraviolet lights, airy anti-insect nets to reduce shape and quality products. Our Tam Lang Tea products was born 10 years ago. Up to now, our products have been present in 63 provinces and cities nationwide and around the world, such as France, United States, Australia, Taiwan, South Korea. Talking about the domestic market, our Tam Lang Tea products have been voted by consumers as high-quality Vietnamese products for many years. Recently, the state issued a regulation on clean materials and the factory must meet the standards, so our company also has built a spacious and clean factory. In early 2021, we operated the new production line meeting Việt Gap and international standards. Thiên đường Agricultural Choice Stock Company, located in Trang Bang Thảo, is also one of the enterprises in the province, which is currently choosing the additional plans for exploitation, business and development, making the most of advantages of the locality over the past year, except for developing material areas outside the province, the company has focused on developing material areas in the province. So far, the company's material areas have an area of about 900 hectares, of which about 50 hectares in Tinan alone. The company aims to expand raw material areas in Tinan province by 2025 to 1,000 hectares. Sharing about his redestination with growing medicinal plants, Mr. Trần Hoài Việt, General Director of Thiên Đường Agricultural Joy Stock Company said, seeing that Thiên is a province with the potential to grow and develop medicinal plants, so he learned about, research and decided to establish Thiên Đường Agricultural Joy Stock Company. The original goal of the company was to create raw material to serve tea and green production and now produce sufferings from delicious fruit culture. Based on the needs of the business, Mr. Vip has signed material purchasing contracts with former members in communes and towns in the districts of Tân Biên, Tân Châu, Yum Châu, Vĩnh Cầu, Tòa Dầu, Trang Bàn Thảo to provide raw materials for enterprises production. Thanks to the cooperative economic organization, we are not as fragmented as before. When the company comes to track the soil and then make the irrigation system, the original planning is also more concentrated. The material area is controlled more closely. There are better costs for testing and inspection during the planting process, taking care of as well as synchronous harvest. So it also reduces the cost of harvesting. When the harvest is a preliminary process in place, it has reduced transportation costs between growing areas to the factory. For the products of Tin Đường Agricultural Joy Stock Company, in the coming time, it will expand the variety of products processed from delicious fruticulture root or corn ginseng suggest, potato soft drinks process, baked tea, wind, delicious fruit Coastal root meal, but milk and sample. According to the orientation of the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development, in the period of 2026-2030, the province will focus on deploying and replicating models and agricultural production areas granted organic certificate in the province in which the production area of organic medicinal plants covers about 8 to 10 hectares. At the same time, it's less investment locations for processing factories in industrial clusters in the province, production areas in the districts of Tân Châu, Tân Biên, Dương Minh Châu, Châu Thành, and Bến Cầu. Currently, the management of exploitation, conservation, and development of medicinal herbs in Tinan still has many shortcomings. People have not paid attention to the development of large-scale medicinal material areas, the application of science and technology to the cultivation, conservation, and mass production of medicinal plants is limited. 
local medicinal products have not been created to form commercial goods. Therefore, in order to promote the potential and advantages of herbal resources, in the coming time, the province will focus on building and promulgating specific mechanisms for each locality to encourage the development of medicinal herbs. At the same time, it identifies groups of medicinal plants which strength to prioritize investment in developing commercialized products with high value, especially products participating in the program of one commune, one product. Along with it, it is necessary to promote research and production of high quality and productive medicinal varieties, conserve genetic resources of endemic, research and rare medicinal herbs with economic value, invest in building preliminary processing, processing and extracting workshops in medicinal areas, enhance the application of science and technology in propagation, cultivation and processing of medicinal herbs, 